gang, let's put some of this together so that it can really make sense when we're talking about what's happening when we push out that wave through an antenna. We've got our access point, and that access point is going to send a certain amount of power. Let's say it's, it's going to send out uh, something really classy like uh, 10 milliwatts of power. All right, well, 10 milliwatts of power is equal to 10 dBm. So that's kind of our initial strength of power. Then there's a cable between the actual antenna and that access point. And the longer the run of the cable is, the more loss of energy there is. There's just simple attenuation of energy because of, you know, electrons not having as much oomph by the time they get to the end. Uh, that dissipation effect. This is going through the wire itself. So that's called cable loss. So we start off with 10, but then let's say the cable causes us to lose three decibels. All right, so now we're down to three, or we lose three, so now we're down to seven decibels. Uh, then we hit the antenna. Now different antennas are going to direct that signal in, in different ways. But when we focus on the main beam of that antenna, we can, we can gauge it relative to other antenna, and we can say, okay, what is that antenna gain? Remember, it's a passive device. It's not adding any power, but it's directing that energy. It's focusing it, which ends up increasing the amplitude of the effective waveform that comes out. So we can talk about the antenna gain. And so let's say the antenna gain here was a 6 dBi antenna. So we add 6 dBi to the 7 that we have when we get there, and we end up with an effective 13 dBm. That effective measurement, the injected power plus the antenna gain minus the cable loss that it took to get there, is known as EIRP, the effective isotropic radiated power. And this really is one of the key measurements that we're going to use to describe how the signal is actually put out on the wire. So some of it's the antenna, some of it's the cable, and some of it's based upon the access point that it took to get there. But th you put all that together, now you actually have, okay, how powerful is this signal as it leaves my access point?